It's very exciting that this is the first time that Pakistan is taking part in the Venice Biennale as an official national pavilion, and I think it's a hugely important step. For me, when I visited Venice last time, I thought that there was a gap because Pakistan was not here. So after speaking to the Venice Biennale's team, I approached the Pakistan Authority. And then I thought about carefully whose solo exhibition I wanted to do. And I came upon Naiza Khan, primarily because I loved the way that she explores an island and explores its history and its heritage. We're showcasing a small island called Menorah Island. And I realized that Menorah Island and Karachi's coastline have such interesting parallels and similarities to Venice's history and maritime trade routes. There's been a lot of exploration in this work and um, uh, the space that we're sitting in is a series of maps uh, which have been cast in brass. And the objects and the maps relate to a document of archival weather history and this document was prepared by the British. It was a document classifying weather, storms, cyclones in the early 20th century in 1939. I was very interested in how there was this desire to sort of predict the weather as well at that time. Not to control it necessarily but to predict it. I selected 11 cities from this weather report and I wanted to think about not just the scale of the city, so all the maps that have been cast have been um, extracted from Google. So the maps um, contain a lot of factual information. The objects that you see on top of the maps, around them, are really small objects that I found in second-hand bazaars in Karachi. And I wanted to play with them, as you're saying, in a very evocative kind of way, in a way where you sort of think uh, about the imagination of out of this particular landscape. We wanted people to be immersed within the show and to try and bring them, in a metaphorical sense, into Menorah Island. The videos are important because they really showcase a side of the island that even people living within Pakistan have not seen. So the viewers of Venice are very lucky in that sense that they're getting an opportunity to really delve into a place that has been private for such a long time. For me, it was very important that the artist was a woman artist. Pakistan's female artists are doing so well globally. And Pakistan also traditionally has a matriarchal culture, and I think that's often ignored in news media, in politics. You know, we had a, a, our first female prime minister in the early 90s. This Biennale's theme and title is May You Live in Interesting Times, and I think that especially in today's era of fake news, of miscommunication, misinformation, art is really one of the most important tools that we have to change people's perceptions in a positive way and showcase a new reality to them. I really believe that this contemporary art exhibition that we have put together will dispel a lot of misnotions about Pakistan.